<laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Valhalla. My name is Weasel, and we are back on day five after our break. And it is cold, 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 cold. Uh, yes, I'm not gonna say any of that. I'm pretty happy. And guess who's back? Alma. It sure is chilly out there. It's kind of refreshing. The hobo out there seems like a nice guy. Billy Vine? Yeah, he's, he's a cool guy. Very respectful. Apparently he got into some legal trouble and that's why he's like that. Really? He could also just be a very nice crackhead though. I have a cousin that lives like a hobo actually. Really? <laughs> really? It's a bit complicated though. Problem is, his family has tried to get him to live with them, but his pride won't let him accept their help. He'd rather live on the streets for some reason. You can tell with some people, sadly. Why did he become a hobo in the first place? Bad investments and debts. Bank evicted him from his house. Oh. It's a serious problem because he has epileptic attacks but refuses to take his medication. That makes sense. Let's, let's switch channels. Cool. I just don't get what's up with him. Honey! Some service here. I'm here. Don't scream. Uh huh? Were you two hanging at the back of the bar? What kind of stuff were you doing? Just talking. Is that what they call it these days? What do you want? Something soft, something sweet, no alcohol. Wouldn't it be the same if you just grabbed the soda from the winding machine? B but but I like you! <laughs> do you dislike my presence so much? Sweet and non-alcoholic, you say? Alright, alright. Sweet and non-alcoholic. That's a good question. What I'm gonna what am I gonna go with? Uh type? Maybe girly Sparkle Star. Sweet girly happy. Optional comma train. Uh it's not soft though. It's sweet and soft. Bitter girly and soft. Uh sweet and soft. Do we even have something that's sweet and soft? Sweet promo happy. Hmm. Sweet and soft. Sour girly soft. Damn it! There it is. It's the blue flat fairy. No ca uh, 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 comma train. All right. All right. We're going to need four Adelheid, one Flanergite. I still think that sounds like like half a disease or something. Can't I can't help it. All right. All aged. Wait, it's that and that. Uh, all aged and mixed. Bam. Success. Blue fairy. Here, like you asked. See, you don't get this kind of treatment from vending machines. Unless you're Lawrence. But he has this weird idea that good service is the same as selling lukewarm cans of soda. Lawrence? A friend of mine. He's a vending machine. Oh. Oh, but how impolite of me. Hmm? I'm lovely and my name's Dorothy. Dorothy Hayes. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Alma. The pleasure's mine. Dorothy, you say? Eh, yep. Why? Nothing. I guess we heard about you before. Really? What kind of stuff? Tell me. Tell me. Mostly about your, um, pluckiness? What is pluckiness? And here I was thinking it was because I'm a sex worker. So much for trying to be subtle. Hey, I take pride in my job. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. Isn't it dangerous? I know how to take care of myself. Thank you very much. Where do you work, Alma? I'm a hacker. Really? A full-fledged hacker? Not the kind that sees a computer locked into some account and says that's hacking, right? No, of course not. I've always been curious about how being a hacker works. Do you start typing really fast while waiting for something to happen? No. I can explain, but I don't know if you'll get it. We won't know until you try, right? Last time I, <laughs> last time I said that, I had to jam the plastic replica of a halogen light bulb up a grown man's ass. <laughs> It was a success. <clears throat> okay then, let me try to explain in general how it works. Let's say I have to retrieve information from a company's database. All right. First, I do some research on the target, OS servers, how the information is stored, and all that. Then I've got a couple of occasions where I had to go in blind, but they're the exception rather than the rule. First, I secure things from my side. I start working behind proxies, websites, and through other more vulnerable computers I find on the way. Uh-huh. After that, I start testing the networks. I go through the basic protocols, try known exploits as long as they don't trigger any alarm. Once I've tested a ground, the fun starts. I go through all the security protocols and look to bypass them. Sometimes I have to look deeper into the code or password itself. 
I see. Then when I'm finally in, I go and retrieve user privileges. After that, I go and try to become a super user and get what I need. How do you do that? Well, there are a couple of ways. I can use a pre-made program to hack into an already existing account. I can use info some, uh, someone already gave me. But the usual ways for buffer overflow. B -b buff what happens next? What happens next? I create a backdoor in the system before leaving and covering my tracks. I, I can't. I can't handle it anymore. Alma, hack me. Hack me like you've never hacked anything before. <laughs> uh? Make my buffer overflow. Create a backdoor on me. Escalate your user privileges. Find flaws in my security. <laughs> Sorry, I got, I got carried away. No shit, what happened? Have you seen those movies or books where a couple does something like paint a picture or cook, but they make it sound like they're having sex instead? Suggestive scenes, yeah. Well, that whole thing was kind of like that for me. Really? I guess humans don't really get it because their minds don't upload to networks or anything. But trust me, if you recorded yourself giving a really detailed explanation into a really sexy voice, you'd make millions. Horny lullums are an unexplored market. I see. Oh, looks like my ride is here. You're right? Yep, my brother-in-law came to look for me. Is it alright to ask that from him? It's okay. I've known him since preschool. It just happened that he got married to my sister. Hey Dorothy, you need a ride? Can you drop me by 3rd Street? Sure, it's on the way. <laughs> Yay, I'll take your offer then. <laughs> Bye honey. Later Jill. Take care. The street seems noisy. Oh, a client. Who's that now? Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get? Uh, what voice do I give him? Such a small yet comfortable place. Truly, an oasis of spiritual drinks in the midst of a suburban desert. A place where lost and corrupt souls can gather to forget their troubles for a while. And that's where everyone from the most pathetic scum to the vilest trash junkie can just sit to kill their insights. Truly a real persona non grata. <laughs> That's lasted from this curious place, by the way. I'm so smart and philosophical. Alright, we got ourselves a persona non grata here. What will you have then? Mm, 17. Uh, excuse me? I said 17. 7 plus teen. What does that mean? What does it mean to you? Just to be sure, 17 is about the drink that you want, right? Only if you want it to be. Alright, the order was uh, 17. Okay, that's certainly interesting. By name, 17. Uh, bad touch beer. I'm trying to find something that like kind of makes sense. But I would not even... 17. 17. Okay. Promo drinks. You need something weird like a Zen Star or Suplex. Okay. Four Bronson Extract, three Flannergyde, and three Karma Train. Cool. Uh, all on the rocks and mix because I have no idea what that good man wants. Oh, hold this of 17. It isn't. You said 17 would only be related to your drink if I thought it was, and I think it isn't. Oh, you subverted my expectations by taking me literally. Sneaky. And what brings you here, Mr. Um, I'm Medina. Virgilia Medina. See, I introduced myself using the Asian order because that's a lot more polite. Mm. Right. And I came here looking for an um, <clears throat> otherworldly experience. I was passing by and saw the place is called Valhalla. I want to see if souls of resting warriors, the wounded spirits of noble souls. The golden hall full of never ending blankets. The lovely Valkyries looking over them. Uh, we have some arcade machines in the corner. No, 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 you're taking me to a little early. Oh, damn it, I missed that. I wanted to see drunk people. I wanted to see waitresses and food. I wanted to see the bar and all of its decadent glory. Well, you're out of luck. Today's been quite a slow day. Not that I'm very surprised, given how things have been going in the streets, though. Mm -hmm. You mean that a nasty bunch. That must just true. Mm -hmm. Making the rockers coming in each other, but that's to be expected from the only mammal that kills its own. I'm no zoologist, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. I am giving me a big example, not zoologist bartender. Like I said, I don't know exact details, I just know that this isn't right. If memory serves me right, once a lion takes over pride, every cub born from another lion is killed or something. Takes <laughs> over pride? You can take over pride. Pride isn't a tangible thing. You need to stop making things up, not zoologist bartender. 
But going back on the topic, do you know what the number 17 means? The atomic number of chlorine? Oh, sorry, that's <laughs> the Jill's voice. The number, atomic number of chlorine? Mm, no, chlorine is not a name, not a number, you know. The group where halogens are in the periodic table? Stop making words like halogens, periodic at the table. Mm. Okay, then I give up. 17 is us. Uh... Every human has 17 pairs of chromosomes. That number is the whole foundation of you and me. It's 23. Well, what is? Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, not 17. Well, they're both primal numbers, so it's the same idea. Primal. Do you want anything else? I'd like a single plum floating in perfume served on a man's hat. Okay, I, I can do that. Uh, a fedora with perfume and a plum. Bam, that sounds absolutely atrocious. Success. Cool. Here. Ha, huh, you didn't... Wait, did it? Enjoy. I will, I, will, I will drink this, um... Perfume. You don't really have to. Yeah, that was uh, like you giving this around, bartender. Hey, bartender, have you ever thought about death? How? What if we're already dead? Both of us. What? What told you? Even I, uh, I even existed before I entered the door. How can you assure that this reality is real and we're not, in fact, in heaven and hell all along? What if everything up to this point is just some stupid story written by an unemployed 20 something in this room? <laughs> I could punch you to make you feel reality. I don't care about many, uh, any of that, actually. This reality is real for me, and that's all that matters. Mm, such a close-minded way of seeing things. You need to mm, get away from the factual facts. Open your mind to things beyond the reach. You'll never be enlightened if you don't start. The habanero has started. It means the twilight of gods in German, by the way. It super does not, by the way. Well, you're on your own button there. Enjoy your new world order. Uh, what? Okay, things are shaking. A couple of nearby cars exploded, it seems. Oh, hell. Let me take a look out the window. Be careful. I see lots of flashes in the distance, most likely gunshots. Jill, come here a second. What? Newscaster, about five gigabytes of reports proving that several white night squads have been used to cover. Illegal actions were released to the public by an unknown anarchist group. We're receiving reports of several units going rogue and using their weapons to hunt down anyone they find on the street. Several counterterrorism forces from neighboring cities have been dispatched in order to subdue the crazed units after a plea from the vice president. We're still waiting for a declaration from Zaibatsu Corp CEO on the subject, but until then, things are ugly inside out that bank, it seems. I'd recommend you stay here tonight. It's too dangerous to even think about going outside. What if they break in? They won't. Even then, the bar is quite the security system. And I'll be here protecting you as an added bonus. <sighs> yeah, I guess I'll stay tonight. I'll get you the spare mattress I have. Do you mind sleeping in my office? No, I guess that's fine. Oh, she cheats. She loves to. Good. Let's hope everything gets solved by the morning. I'll have a, I'll have a Zankantu on hand, just in case. The metal bat with nails? There's nothing it can bash. <laughs> Sigh, Jill, four. Hope everything's better than by tomorrow. All right. Sleep tight. I'll protect you. Uh, flawless service bonus not granted. I guess that guy, I didn't didn't give him what he wanted. What can you do? In any case, that concludes this episode of Valhalla. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry that it takes a few days to get to these since there's so many series running at the same time. But I hope to see you guys in the next one. I'm Weasel. I'm out and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.